Okay then, let's do this. Hello guys and welcome back to what is the finale of The Quarry. Uh, back today with the final episode. I don't know how much longer we've got left, um, but we're just going to be playing all the way through until the end of this game. Um, so I hope you are enjoying the series. Um, in the last episode we uh, saw Caitlin die. It was kind of my fault. I should have left the room earlier. Um, but yeah, she dead. We move on. Um, I think this is going to tell us that Caitlin died. Yeah. Oh, it was actually Caleb that, that killed her. Caitlin was left to defend. Yeah, so she dead. But, guys, we're just going to jump in. So Laura, Ryan, and, uh, the sheriff are all together. Uh, let's ask what happened. So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. Mm. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle? Oh shit. What was that? That was weird. Are they, are they both knocked out? Wait, I got it. I got it. I got it. Just get down. <laughs> Run him over. Go. Go! Ooh. Now back it up. Back it up. Where did he go? He kind of just disappeared. I wouldn't be waiting around. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Is Ryan good? Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. <laughs> what is she wearing? Leads through there. <laughs> What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? I'm confused. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. 
We could be killed. You ready to end this? Sure. Let's fucking do this. Let's fucking do this. Hells yeah. Go team. Let's get it. It all makes sense now. You got wolf blood? Found it in the woods. Travis just reminded me. Don't tell him. You should take it. There's not enough for the both of us. No, I can't. I can't do that. It's yours. You've been through a lot more than I have. Anyone deserves to get out of this alive, it's you. Sure, I'll take it. Ryan's a good guy. He is a good guy. Yeah, uh, yeah, no worries. I guess. I hope he doesn't die. Ugh, pungent. <sighs> right, let's see what happens. I will have a look kind of halfway through because I've seen like a couple of the paths have been updated. In fact, we'll do it now if that's going to be a little cut. I don't like doing it in the middle of scenes. But man, I'm, I'm hyped. I want to know what's going on. Let's have a quick look. So, finders keepers. Um, picked up the vial. Laura accepted the blood from Ryan. Uh, run Silas down after he attacked the car. Okay. Cool, let's get it. I love how many endings and possibilities there are in this game. It's brilliant. God damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but... And I was out here, and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. She was saying Silas, wasn't she? Oh my god, she was saying Silas. Yeah. No, that's impossible, who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Voraz. Silas's mother. I think. But she hates the hackers. You think? You think? Well, it sounds better than owner. Wait, what does that mean? He was a feral child she found and then kept in a cage like a goddamned animal. If Kaylee had... In a cage, huh? <laughs> Shut up. Forget I said anything. I love Laura. I just want these two to survive. Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest gentlest souls to ever walk this earth and all she wanted to do was help that little boy locked in a cage by that freak show witch what did she do she just wanted to help him travis she convinced caleb to start a fire it was just a distraction it's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's how it all started. Be reflective. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. <laughs> ah. Okay. This is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Starting to piece it together. 
Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. It's literally just off the road. How would they have not seen this before? Ryan, don't go off on your own, man. Oh my god, glad I don't have face cam on, because that made me jump. Shit. I'm sorry, that was... Close. We must be close. Did you both see it too? Kinda wish I hadn't. Same. Holy shit, that made me jump. Oh man. Then it shivers down my spine. Silas the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. I don't really want to kill him though if he's like a small child. Is that him? Fucking Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Jeez. Oh, what's going down, man? Shoot the stupid girl. Yeah, I've we've got to do it, man. Are you sure about this? Shoot. Oh, I don't know what I've just done. Oh, God. Please, let's just... Let's just go. Before we... We have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. Oh, no. What have I done? Is that like it though? We killed him. We done it. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Oh God, what have I done? Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night, and I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's going to be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Is she... Is, are we done? I don't know what we've done. I think we're, we're done. Are we done?
Ryan. Yeah, a man like Ryan and Laura. Ah, oh, my 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 G's, they all survived. I oh, know we're all gonna be arrested now. Oh, mad, what's going to happen? They're going to think we just killed everyone. Okay. Summer camp tragedy. Freak bear attack leaves several dead. What do you make of that, Anton? I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just... They, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two, three. Yeah, you know what? It's several. Several murders. You know, it might so be we've done it. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially when you go in saying, hi, I'm a paranormal expert. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton? Introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life, everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so... I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. I have no idea what's going on there here. actually is a real reason that we're I'm going to turn that down a bit quarry. in the background. I, d I don't really know what to think. I feel a little bit underwhelmed. I feel like there was going to be a lot more. Maybe I've just completely fucked the game. And there was a, uh, there could have been a lot more, obviously. There's so many endings to this game. Um, and maybe I just kind of fucked it. But I thought there was going to be more. We just kind of shot him and then it was like, yeah, everyone's fine. Because I'm assuming if you shoot Silas, or if you don't shoot him, maybe more happens. But I'm just a heartless bitch. Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that says, Stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice. Okay. Uh, Laura, Laura was... Let's call it an Laura's my G. Laura and Ryan. Great, um, great cast. You didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Debbie did a great job with the casting. But, yeah, I might do some more videos on this series. I'm, you know, I'm not going to do a whole another playthrough at this moment. Maybe, maybe later on down the line. Um, I guess we'll sort of see where we are later on down the line. Um... I would definitely like to do... I'm just going to ramble now whilst the credits are going. Uh, feel free to skip forward. Uh, there may be something at the end or it'll just be me rambling. But I would like to do some streams, potentially. Um, which could include playing through the quarry again. Um, you know, it took me it took me a while to get through it. But we could maybe do like a couple of streams that are a couple of hours long and get through it in like a few streams. I don't know. We'll we'll possibly look into that. I don't have like a huge amount of time to to play. So it, in between recording, editing, uploading, I don't get a huge amount of time to stream as well. Um, pretty busy over the next sort of few months as well. So I guess we'll see what happens. Um, I'm I'm gonna keep recording just to see if anything happens at the end. They do like developers love to like hide stuff at the end of games. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really know what to expect. I was I was kind of thinking there would be more of a dramatic ending, and there there wasn't. 
But I mean, as uh, out of the councillors, three of them died, which isn't horrendous. I thought I was probably going to get more of them dead. Um, Caitlin, we definitely could have kept alive, and Abigail. That the first one, Abigail, I just panicked. I didn't know what to do. Um, but I think we did all right. Like I said in, I think it was the last episode or possibly the one before that. Um, if you have played this game or uh, you've watched any other playthroughs, um, let me know who who you have watched. If it's somebody else, um, and what what endings you've seen as well, I'm intrigued to see what else has sort of gone on uh, with other people playing this game. Um. But yeah, I, I guess we'll just kind of end it here. I have just been rambling for the last five minutes. If, if you enjoyed the rambling, then let me know. I, I don't know if that would be something that people are interested in. Find out a little bit more about myself. Um, but yeah, we, we will end it here. Um, I'll keep recording just in case anything happens. Um, but guys, we'll have a new series starting soon. Um, we'll probably stick with the sort of games that we've gone with so far um but yeah i definitely want to do some more videos on the quarry um i have enjoyed but um if i don't see you if there's any more add-ons then uh i hope to see you in the next video catch you later peace family mm -hmm. and this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory okay here acres we go and acres of haunted woods if you say so You're gonna make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of the letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it would have more power. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long are we gonna drag this shit out? I know family is the most important thing, but I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yeah. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not ring as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Oh, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. 
Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended for now. So, I don't think that's gonna be a problem for this next one. Oh God, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's insane. What? Signed by Travis Hackett. Hey, we're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding tech. Okay, these guys know who we are. Okay, Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. That you're a crackpot conspiracy theorist, a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's quarry this summer. Real, super nasty shit. See, you always say things like this, and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay, this is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool, a camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? That's a surprise to you. There is no way it's a bear. Okay, well, it, uh, a skinny bear? This could be some of the purest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes the truth can't be contained within the line. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scarce. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh. Yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, it's Bears very are sad. Huge. Oh. Yeah, polar bears, it's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. Don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay. Do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't... I don't want you to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay. So what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo by one of the counselors. Emma Mountbank downed this on her phone. Oh my god. Is this real? Well... <laughs> That is what we're here to discuss. Okay, this looks shocked. I mean, doesn't it? Okay, but w if you downloaded photos from my phone, yes, they would all be shocked as well. There would be a filter on it to make my eyes look big and cheeks look skinny. But I don't even think that has even any of those filters. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real skin. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, weird, bizarre. than we are being told. Yeah? There's something else, too. Okay. <sighs> Look at what happens when I sit for a negative test. Whoa! Okay, what is that? It's her! The hag of Hackett's quarry! See? Full circle! God, God, no, 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 no. That could be anything. Like what? Please, try to I, explain. I don't know what that thing, there's this thing that makes your mind, you see faces and stuff. There's people, there, there's, Jesus shows up on toast every once in a while. This could be whatever. Well, I don't need to hear too much more about your breakfast, but I can't believe that you're still questioning this. You're doubting your own cynicism now, though, I can tell. I can smell the doubt that you usually apply to other things on your head. Picture didn't happen, right? Well, pics show did happen. No, pics you can fabricate. Experiences you can't. I need to, I, I would need to see the Hag of Hackett's quarry myself. Well, if you want to go to North Pole with me. No, after the I don't. Good okay, I believe you. Okay, but you know what? I have something that couldn't be fabricated. Claw marks in a wall. I, I could make this right now. Really? Just but, but find me a wall, I'll take a fork and just go to town. Oh, what an attitude. Thanks. Well, to me, this isn't actually overtly supernatural because it could have just been, you know, an animal or someone's angry parrot. But it'd be unfair not to discuss. 
why? Because the audience has come to expect a certain length of the podcast, so we actually have to sometimes do a little bit of filler. Yeah, that's true. We don't have much to talk about. Well, whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. There's a chance this is all just a prank, you know? It was just a prank, Anton! Who even are you? It's probably just some teenager who's making fun of you. It's probably that dude who came on and gave us a one-star review. I would love to tell you that that's implausible, but a teenager making fun of me is probably the most familiar experience of my life. Moving on! How about this? Tell me this isn't freaky as shit. Oh! Is that skin? Skin? Fur? Whatever you want to call it, really. Okay, it looks human. Is that a tattoo? I don't think so. Or maybe a really bad one. Wait. Is it? Apparently, this belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Okay, do we have the actual thing? Did they capture it? Can I can I see it in the uh, in its weird flesh, so to speak? You want to touch the flesh. I want to touch the flesh. Well, fortunately, the person who sent this to me was smart enough to know that it would be dangerous to steal the actual evidence, not to mention they might suspect that you, Anton, would hide it away so as to sabotage this legitimate investigation. Right, I am known for destroying evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man, you're desperate not to believe. If there's reasonable doubt, you have to assume it's not real, Occam's Razor. But look at everything we've seen. Put it all together, objectively. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you. You're... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look... a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No! So what now? We gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um... Who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast.
Okay then guys, if anyone is still here, which I don't believe will be the case, but if, if you are still here, you are my absolute G, my number one. Um, I, I left the sort of credits, the epilogue in at the end of the video, um, just because it has like the sort of podcast running in the background, it's a little bit... Um, little bit of lore for anyone who's interested um but yeah guys um i, I kind of said it um as we finish the game but um thank you for all the support on the channel at the moment and on this series um i really did enjoy uh playing through this game um so yeah just a massive thank you really like i say if you are still here like 40 minutes in then you are my absolute g um but we'll be back with a new game soon it's going to be hard to top this um if anyone do uh, do does have any suggestions on games that they would like to see then drop them in the comments um on any videos um i, I will take comments into suggestion um because i'm always looking for interesting games to play um, but I am just rambling again at the moment, um, but like I say, if you did enjoy, um, drop a like on the video, sub to the channel, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Peace out.